1874, G.B. Dealey was 15 when he joined the Galveston Daily News. A decade later, owner A.H. Bilo sent him north to open the Dallas Morning News. In 1926, Dealey bought the company, which has since been run by his son, his grandsons, and today, by his great-grandson. Somebody asked me a long time ago how it was that I held the one job so long. And I told them very truthfully, one of the reasons was that nobody during all that time offered me any other job. Thinking back 65 years from 1874 to 18 to 1929, is a real panorama. My memory can go back marvelously and see things that I saw 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. The first thing we had in Dallas was when we completed the first unit of our present building. That first unit was 50 feet front on Palmer Street and 100 feet back on Lamar. At that time, the composing room was on the third floor, directly over the library, and the rooms east of the library. That, that was the composing room. And before the machinery was all moved in there, and when the room was vacant, we had our first dinner. In 1949, the Dallas Morning News moved to 508 Young Street, and Dealey's son, Ted, led the first tour of the building. Mama and Mady and Sammy and Jim and little Jean and myself have been going through the new building the first time for Mama. And we started at 11 and it's now after 1 o'clock. It took us over two hours just to see the highlights. And Mama says that she is just floored and she never expects to be the same thing. Forty years ago, we were over in um, an area we can't see from here, but in what we call the old building, it's now a parking lot. Garage and we came down here in 49 and we didn't make very much money. We spent six million dollars on this structure, the newspaper. It was like six hundred million dollars. You can't imagine how much money that was then, particularly for a company our size. We had to borrow all of it. After seven decades on Young Street, the Dallas Morning News is about to move for the second time in its history. Oh, this was a, a um, a place where a lot of history in the company happened and uh, uh, but you know the, re the realities are that we have way too much space we have way too big a footprint here. When I think about the Dallas Morning News building which is a very important building the building as an architectural form deserves and needs to be preserved but am I emotional about the Dallas Morning News moving? Not at all. First and foremost, the Dallas Morning News needs to be located where it can succeed as a journalistic institution and as a business. That this whole bunch is, are the, constitutes the news and that the destiny of the news from now on, today and tomorrow and tomorrow's tomorrow, is in your hands. And never in my life have I been as happy as I am this minute looking into your faces. May God grant the blessing to take care of us always.